Thank you and welcome again to another one of my videos. My name is Chris and I'm the creator of all of the videos here at Math Meeting. My goal for this channel is to create as many free and fun math tutorials as possible to help you from basic level math all the way through upper level calculus and statistics. And I even make some fun videos as well, like this one. Here we have another fun algebra word problem. So here in this problem we have a bunch of cookies and we have a bunch of jars. And we're trying to find out exactly how many cookies we have and we're trying to find out exactly how many jars we have. Well, what we do know is that if we put three cookies into every jar, we're going to have one jar that's completely empty left over. Also what we do know is that if we put two cookies into every jar, then all of the jars will have two cookies in them and there'll be one cookie that's left over. So given this information, the question for this word problem is, how many cookies do we have and how many jars do we have? So take your time, work on the problem, take out a piece of pen and paper if you need to, and I will show you the solution in five seconds. So exactly how many cookies and jars do we have? Well, there's two ways to solve this problem. One way is just by guessing and checking, which I feel like anyone can do. So I wanna show you how to solve this using a system of equations. So let's create a system of equations using the information that was given to us at the beginning of this video. So to start, let's let C represent the number of cookies and we'll let J represent the number of jars. Now if we go back to the beginning of this problem, we said that if there was three cookies in every jar, that there would be one jar that's left over. So we can find the number of cookies by multiplying each jar by three, except for one of them because one of them is empty. So the total number of cookies, which is C, is equal to the total number of jars J, minus one because one of them is empty, and we have to multiply that by three, since there's three cookies in every jar. So now we have one equation, but we have two variables. We have cookies and jars. There's two unknowns. So we need another equation if we're going to solve this problem. So let's use some more information that was given to us to create another equation. And if you remember from the beginning of the video, I also said that if we put two cookies into every jar, then we're gonna have one cookie that's left over. So if we multiply each jar by two, that will give us the total number of cookies, plus we have one left over, so we'll add one at the end. So the total number of cookies C is equal to the number of jars, J, multiply J by two, because there's two cookies in every jar, plus we're going to have one cookie left over, so let's add one at the end. So now we have two equations for our two variables, cookies and jars. And now we can solve this system of equations to find exactly how many of each we have. So the easiest way to solve this system of equations, in my opinion, is by substitution, because both equations are written in terms of C. In our first equation, we have C is equal to three multiplied times J minus one. So we can substitute three times j minus one in for c in our second equation. Now after we substitute, we're going to have a new equation in terms of j. On the left side of the equation, we're going to have three multiplied times j minus one, which is what we just substituted in for c. And this is equal to the right side of the equation, which stays the same, which is two j plus one. And now at this point, we can solve this equation for j using simple algebra. And the first thing I wanna do is simplify the left side of the equation by multiplying the three times j minus one. And this simplifies to three j minus three. And now we can solve for j and get j by itself by subtracting two j to both sides of the equation and by adding three to both sides of the equation. And after we simplify this and solve for j, we get j is equal to four. So now we know that we have four jars and we can use this to find exactly how many cookies we have. Let's plug in four for j into any of our first two equations. Let's plug in four into our first equation. 
which is C is equal to 3 multiplied by J minus 1. So we know the total number of cookies is equal to 3 multiplied by J, which is equal to 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So the total number of cookies we have is equal to 9. And we have four jars, and now we have officially solved our word problem.